Hi everybody. Uh, I'm just I'm coming on here to tell y'all what's going on with me. Uh, this morning Virginia called me and she told me that a dear friend of ours had passed away. Her name was Lester Hogan and everybody called her Les. And we had been friends for my entire adult life. I met her Right around the same time I met Virginia when I was 17 years old and I went to work at the nursing home. And we have been friends for 26 years now. And uh, me and her and Virginia were three peas in a pod. We were together all the time. We worked the same shift, the same schedule, and we rode together for years and years. And uh, we worked at the nursing home together, and I started there when I was 17, so we were just always together. Um, and when you work that kind of job, it's it's not like a regular co-worker situation, you know. I mean, it's you form very deep attachments to the people you work with, and I made lifelong friendships with those ladies. And uh, me and Virginia and Les, we were just... And we were always together in three peas in a pod, you know, and I guess I now we're two, huh, V? So, uh, yeah, I got that news this morning, and I still had to get around and do all my regular crap. And so, anyway, I had to go by the bank, and I had to go by the post office and everything, and so then I stopped by Virginia's and gave her a mask that I had made her, and we talked a little bit and then I had to go shopping so I was going to another place to go shopping it took me about 30 minutes to get there and the whole time I was driving I was just thinking about my friend I was just thinking about less not really in a sad way uh, but I was just thinking about her I was thinking about what she looked like what she sounded like just things about my friend uh, you know, she was kind of tall, slim. Um, she kept her hair real short. She was had dark eyes, you know, almond-shaped eyes, real pretty. I always thought she was. She put me in mind of those pictures of the African ladies with, like, a pot on their head and those real colorful sarongs with the long neck, real graceful, long limbs. I always thought Les was real pretty and put me in mind of those uh, those pictures of those ladies. And I was thinking about her, you know, I was thinking about, she had uh, long nails, she kept her nails natural, and she took good care of them, and she used a certain kind of clear nail polish on them, that it was like a nail hardener, and she always had long, pretty nails. And Anyway, I was just thinking about her, but I wasn't sad, I was just thinking about my friend. And I got to town, and I had to go to Walmart, you know, and... I don't go very often. I try to go as little as possible. And so, and I haven't been to that particular Walmart in several weeks, like over a month. And I didn't know um, that they were making the lanes one way, like the aisles that you're shopping, you can go only one direction down the aisles. And it wasn't very apparent, and they had some little stickers on the floor, but they were small, and I didn't notice them. I was distracted. Uh, I was just thinking about my friend and I was distracted and I was looking at my list and trying to stay on track and do what I had to do and uh, I was just you know going down the aisle and looking at my list and this old lady come up beside me and barked at me and was like you're going the wrong way and I was like you know I'm sorry I didn't realize that this was going on it wasn't going on like this last time I was here, you know. And uh, she startled me, you know, and she barked at me a little more and then went on about her way. And I finished shopping and checked out all my groceries and loaded them up and everything. And I still hadn't really gotten sad, you know. I was just kind of upset from that lady hollering at me. Uh, so I stopped and I... I got myself a coffee and I got an iced coffee at Sonic and I saw that Foxy was live. 
So I turned on her live and just listened to it on the way home. It was really nice because it distracted me and uh, got, me, got me out of that weird mood that that lady had put me in. And So I listened to that all the way home. And when I got home and I started unloading the groceries and everything, it just kind of hit me. And I just started crying. And I've just been crying ever since. It's just hard. You know, it just took a while to sink in. It's, I've known her longer than I didn't, you know, my whole adult life. Uh, the last time we really spent any time together was Father's Day. Not this past one, I think, but the one before. And uh, she invited me to her house for Father's Day because she's sweet like that. And uh, she always included me. And uh, she had her whole family there. My God, there's so many people. She's a big old family. And everybody was there. And oh my God, the food was so wonderful. And we just sat around. We sat out on the porch and just visited and ate that good food. And we drank some wine. And it was some wine my nephew had made that I brought over there. We had a nice a nice time and I'm, I've been thinking about that I just been remembering her so clearly and thinking about her so much and ever since I got home I've just been crying and crying and remembering my friend I miss her so much I miss her so much and uh, anyway, I wanted to come on here and tell you guys what was happening because I'm not going to feel like doing YouTube videos for a little while. Uh, I hope I get back into sunsets and pretty flowers soon, but not right now. I'm grieving for my friend. And uh, I wanted to, I don't know if they'll focus in very good but I wanted to show you a couple of pictures that I have of us this is when we went to Branson recently well it's been a little while a couple years ago we went to Branson and so this is Virginia and me and Les and Virginia's sister Melvina and I don't know if you can if it'll focus but that's Les right there in the back she's the tall one and boy, we had fun when we went on this trip. It was so nice. We had such a good time. And this is us hanging out by the pool. And that's Melvina, Virginia, and me, and, and Les. I wish this would focus so you could see what she looked like. You see, she's got those long, graceful limbs. Like those ladies in the picture I was talking about. Yeah, we had such a good time in Branson, y'all. We had such a good time. And that's my friend, Les. And I'm going to miss her so much. I'm going to miss my friend. I wish that would focus so y'all could see her. And that's us. That's me and Les. So, anyway, uh, I'm not going to be around for a few days, and I didn't want y'all to worry and wonder what was going on, so I thought I'd tell you. I love you guys. I want y'all to be sweet and take care of each other, because you don't know how long you have with each other. You really don't. So, remember that, and take care of each other and treasure each other. I'm going to get to work on a couple of masks for me and Virginia to wear to the services which is surreal and crazy that I don't even know how we're gonna go about that how how I mean of course I've been to dozens of funerals I worked at a nursing home <laughs> so but how do we do it with masks and staying away from each other how can you go to a funeral without hugging your loved ones I just don't even know how we're going to do it. 
but Rachel sent me some beautiful material that's black with some real finely done white tea roses on there. And it's really lovely, and I thought I'd make me and Virginia both a mask because I'm sure we're both going to wear black to services. And what a weird world it is. Anyway, so that's what's going on with me. And so I'm going to be not around for a little while because I'm going to be doing other things and mourning my friend. And I'm just not in the kind of cheerful mood that I want to share videos right now. Anyway, thanks for listening to me and for hearing about my friend, Lester Hogan. She was great. She was a great friend, hard worker, good person. I'm going to miss her so much. I love you guys. Y'all be sweet.